Alrighty, so I think it's being shipped in two different packages. So I actually already opened this just to see and make sure it's what we wanted it to be. So this is going to be the next mod, as you can probably tell from the title for the BRZ. What we got here, we got the mean genuine parts. Ooh, kill them. So throw that to the side. Here's what we really care about. So we have an anchor mount. It's a magnetic mount for like your air vent for like a phone or tablet. Um, that was like six bucks, I think, for this thing. And then this guy's the real meat and potatoes, as they say. So, let's see if we can get this one handed. Fuck this box all up. There we go. Look at that nice packaging material. Woo! There we go. So, what we got here is a Bluetooth OBD2 meter, reader, meter, whatever you want to call it. Oh, they got a little thing so you can put a switch in. The other part of this that I'm waiting for is actually like an extension cable. And it's like a male and female end, and it has like a little switch, so you can kill it so you don't drain battery when you're just running your meter for no reasons. And then, of course, this is just the feel the oil change, which I might do a video on, I might not, who really wants to watch oil changes. If you want to see that, though, let me know in the comments below, and we'll do a awesome oil change video. Look at that, dude. Genuine swooboo parts. All right, so what we want to do is get this cable into the OBD2. Then we're going to put uh, the other end, obviously, into the meter, reader thing, whatever you want to call it. I keep messing that up. And then we call it a day. Then we got the little clicky clacky, and we're not running battery down. So let's do it. I had it the right way. Awesome, so there's that. So essentially I just took the cable, ran it up over here. Like that's gonna stay very well though. Where is the, so we just take this bad guy. Jam it in. Come on, tell me that can't tuck back somewhere behind the seat. Twist out of it. So that's there. Okay, cool. It's got power. No power. Power. No power. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's exactly what we want. Just jam that down there. Just like that. And if you want it, hit the switch. Alright, so that's a little hack, but whatever. There we go. Alright, finally it connected. Well, how well this is going to show up, honestly. I'm sorry if it looks like shit. But there you have it. You see we got coolant, intake, load, RPM, but you know, we got the world's biggest fucking gauge there. Uh, it has a ton of other features. We'll go through that in a little bit when I'm not sitting in this, like scorching hot car but there you have it there's the super cheap super cheap super funky little setup here dude there you go oh, you can't see the screen at all i don't think so you gotta get that mounted there all right so i wanted to real quick kind of talk about the the app itself uh torque is what it's called uh they have a free version and then a paid version uh, the paid version, I believe, is $4.95, and it unlocks um, a ton of other features, but the free version, honestly, you get a ton of really, really cool stuff for literally free, except for there's an ad that's kind of cut off at the moment. Uh, but as you can see here, this is kind of the same layout we had uh, earlier in the video, but I kind of changed it around a little bit just to test a few other things that I'd like to test. Um, but we have, you can see we have coolant, load is just like engine load, uh, intake is the intake temperature, revs, obviously just the RPM, fuel pressure, and then throttle percent. Um, does a ton of other really cool stuff as well. Uh, if you go into, say, like add displays, um, 
you can see there's a ton of just information you can you can real time monitor with this app and you know 40 bucks worth of stuff essentially uh, really really cool if you know you're running boost it's got a boost gauge if you're too cheap um, you trust that I guess um, got a ton of other cool stuff if, if you know you're a bum you know like I was previously and you have no uh, speedometer it's got one there for you a GPS and a OBD2 speedometer as well uh, kind of really cool app though I mean you can plug it into any car for the most part as long as it's uh, 1996 or above I believe and uh, you can you know run fall codes uh, it has a fall code search and you know scanner if you will does uh, logging um, I think it actually logs with uh, GPS too so it'll log your actual you know where you were and all the, the awesome things that come along with which are real-time monitoring. Uh, that's really what I wanted it for was just real-time monitoring um, when I'm spirited driving or you know on a track or something like that. Um, definitely good to have this kind of information handy for sure. Yeah, so that's about the, all there is to it. Uh, thanks for watching as always. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about Torque or, or any of the stuff that we use in the video. Um, definitely do my best to answer what I can for sure.